This is Asus VivoBook Pro 15, one of the latest laptops from Asus. And according to Bajar, the features this laptop included, it is quite impressive. I'm going to let you know everything about this laptop, so make sure to watch it till the end. First of all, let's have a look about its quick specifications. This laptop comes with Ryzen 5 5600H processor and it included 16GB of DDR4 RAM, 512GB NVMe Gen 3 SSD and there is a NVIDIA RTX 3050 GPU. The GPU available in the laptop, it comes with only 50W TDP. That is the one slightly disadvantage I have found in the laptop. But still I can tell you one thing, this GPU is capable to run all of the tasks and even it can run all the games available in the market right now. And if we talk about its connectivity, there is a Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6 available. If we talk about its build quality, its lid is completely made up of metal and at the top there is Asus branding and it looks very minimalistic, very simple laptop. So if you want to use it as a business purpose, as a college purpose, or if you want to do light gaming as well, you can do everything. I have purchased the quite blue color. Same laptop is also available in the silver color as well. And at the bottom part is completely made up of plastic. There are lots of vents available so that air input will turn very easily. There is a two downfire speakers and it is a Harman and Kardon speakers. If we talk about the air exhaust, you cannot see any air exhaust option on the left hand side, right hand side or at the back hand side because all the air exhaust options are given just below the display area. As here you can see lots of air exhaust options are available. Does this laptop do overheating? Trust me, I haven't found any overheating problem in the laptop. The laptop feels very lightweight in hand and its total weight is around 1.8 kg. Can we open the laptop with the help of single hand? No, as you can see bottom LED is also coming up. So at least you have to use two hands while opening the laptop. Do you know one best part about the laptop? Its lid can be moved till 180 degree. Means it can be opened just like a notebook. See? And the hinge quality is really good. Now let's have a look on its display. It comes with 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display that support 45% NTSC, 250 nits of brightness and 144Hz of refresh rate that is a good shine. And if we talk about its port, on the left hand side there is a 2 USB 2.0 port and on the right hand side there is a power input port, USB 3.2 type A, HDMI port, USB type C, micro SD card slot and one single port for microphone and speaker. I believe instead of giving two USB 2.0 ports, there must be at least two USB 3.2 ports that will be far better because 2.0 is very old generation. In the same time, there is a SD card slot available, but it is a micro SD card slot. If there is a normal SD card slot that is bigger one, then it would be quite helpful for content creators. Otherwise, laptop quality is really looking good. This laptop comes with a full size keyboard and it supports only single color backlit that can be adjusted with the help of F7 button. But I found the backlit is very dim, it should be little bright. But if you are working at night, all the keys are very easily visible, nothing to worry on that. Overall typing experience of the keyboard is really impressive. It also provides a tactile feedback as the keys are popping out. So if you do lots of coding or lots of typing work, you are going to love the keyboard available in the laptop. Again, if we talk about the touchpad, there is a very big size touchpad and the quality I have found really impressive. It supports all the gestures and while doing day-to-day -day tasks, I found it quite responsive as well. There is a fingerprint sensor as well, but it is hidden in the laptop. If you have used earlier Asus VivoBook laptops, fingerprint sensors are usually given on the touchpad. But at this time, fingerprint sensor is included in the power button itself. Just touch the power button and your system is going to unlock just in a second and the fingerprint sensor quality is also really good it works with 99% accuracy and again one quite interesting thing i have found in this laptop there is a usb type c port right and it support usb type c charging as well so if you have a power bank with you or if, if you carry a mobile charger using that you can very easily charge the laptop as well and i think these two features make this laptop really wonderful at a very low budget out of the box, there is a Windows 11 MS Office 2021 plus there is a ProArt application available in the laptop. Using that, you can customize the system performance such as whether you want to run it in a silent mode or if you want to run it in a performance mode. Other than this, there are also some interesting features like you can give a high priority to a certain applications as well. Now let's have a look on its benchmark score. But before going forward, I would just like to tell you one thing. This is not a sponsored video. I have purchased this laptop just to make it 
making a review and just to let you know whether you should buy it or you must ignore it. If you really like my work and if you really want to support my channel, at least buy the laptop from the link given in the description section below. If you use my link, it will help my channel plus you will also get it at the best price as well. Now let's go forward. First of all, I have run a Cine benchmark test and according to Cine benchmark results, single core score is 1362 and multi core score 7321. According to 3D mark test, total score I have found 4321, where CPU score was 5201 and GPU score was 4196. I have run the stress test as well and 98.6% pass result. It is really good sign. According to 3D mark storage test, the total score was 1827. Crystal test mark result is available in the screen you can see and I have also shared with you the Blender test score as well. Now let's have a look on its gaming performance. Does 50 watt GPU can run all the high end games? Let's have a look. First of all, I have run Stray at high settings. You can easily run the game at 95 FPS. Next, I have tried GTA 5. Again, at very high settings, you can easily play the game at 111 FPS and game runs very smoothly as well. Next, I have tested Forza Horizon 5. At extreme settings, I have got only 24 FPS. At high settings, you can play the game at FPS. I have also run the Days Gone at very high settings. You can easily run the game around 61 FPS. God of War at ultra setting can be playable at 40 FPS with DLSS on. And if you off the DLSS, you will get around 28 FPS. And at high settings, this game can be easily playable at 60 FPS with DLSS on. And if you turn off the DLSS, you will get 48 FPS. Before going forward, let me clear you one thing. The game that support DLSS, I have turned on DLSS at quality mode right and if you want to know more about at different settings how much you are getting the fps you can visit my website i have provided you the link in the description section below where you can see each and everything about this laptop now let's go forward a plague tale requiem can be playable at 30 fps without dlss at the lowest settings with dlss on you can easily play the game at 47 fps Gotham Knights can be playable at highest settings around 44 FPS and at low setting you can play the game around 50 FPS and the game run very smoothly. I have also tested Spider-Man Miles Morales at very high setting you can easily play the game at 44 FPS and if you play the game at low settings it can be easily playable at 64 FPS. Red Dead Redemption 2 I have tested at favor quality that is the highest setting of the game and at the settings I have played around 50 FPS. Next I have tested Shadow of of Tomb Raider at highest settings without DLSS this game can be done at 70 FPS and at highest settings with DLSS on I have found 90 FPS. Next I have tested Far Cry 6 at ultra setting you can easily play the game at 53 FPS and at high settings this game can be run easily at 60 FPS. The game runs very smoothly. At the end I have tested Valorant and I have found a very shocking result. At high settings this game can be easily playable at 207 FPS sometimes the FPS are crossing 207 FPS as well. So if you are looking for a laptop especially for Valorant, CSGO or fast shooting FPS game, I believe this laptop can handle all the games and you will get a pretty good FPS score. As you have seen, all the games are easily playable at very high and high settings and overall gaming performance was quite impressive. But if there is 85 watt TGP, then obviously it would be far better than this. I have tested this laptop while doing a video editing First of all, I have tried to edit 4K videos. Slightly, I have found there is a lag in the timeline while doing a 4K video. And I have also tried to render a 10 minute 4K project from my laptop. And it can render around 45 minutes. That is a pretty good score. I have also tested full HD project for editing and all. And really, I have found a very smooth experience. The timeline never lags while doing a full HD video editing. And 10 minutes rendering time, it takes around 7.20 minutes and as you have seen it is pretty good laptop while doing editing and all so can we do photoshop obviously you can do photoshop and you are not going to face any problem while doing photo editing in the laptop now let's have a look most commonly asked questions about the laptop can we upgrade the ssd in the laptop no there is a 5 and 12 gb ssd available but there is no extra ssd slot given in the laptop if you want to upgrade it you have to replace the existing ssd can we upgrade the ram in the laptop the maximum ram this laptop support is 6 16 GB and already 16 GB is available in the laptop. Next, what is the battery backup of the laptop? You can easily get 5 hours and 30 minutes of battery backup while doing a normal task in silent mode. 
so this is all about today and if you are looking for a laptop for college for codings for gaming or for office work i believe this is a all in one laptop for you and if you really want to buy it i have already provided you the link in the description section below kindly go there and buy it if you use my link it will help my channel plus you will also get it at the best price as well if you're new here do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon thanks for watching